What do you got, Paul? Seemed, seemed like it was hard for both teams to find run room both both days. What did you think about? That? I mean, we, we we had a few that were productive. I think uh, you know later on in the red zone, um, but it certainly was was tough sledding. Um, and I think that it was good work, and you're seeing different fronts, and you're seeing some different things, and different pressures, and you know, run pressures, and first and second down, you know, pressures from from the edge or whatever it may be that we're going to have to go back, and you know, we'll see these different things throughout the season. So it was really good work. Same story on the other side of the ball. Your sense too? Um, yeah, I mean, I you know, I don't know how much we pressured. Um, but again, I mean, we, we we know that there there is a level of importance to to being able to, to stop the run and whatever scheme it may be, um, it's going to change week to week. So, um, you know, certainly something that's been a strength of ours. But um, I think in these practices is just not letting it go and not being lax and making sure you know, we're gap sound, we're setting the edge and, and building the wall. You've been watching film, but just first impression. What was the things you liked that you saw the last two days? What was the things that? Well, today I thought that there was an energy level. I think that that we came out. I thought we tried to celebrate the the, the plays that we had in the red zone offensively, uh, which was which is important. I mean, it's tough to score in this league, and you know we've tried to to, to you know, really do a good job in the red zone. We got to get down there more. I've said that uh, quite often, um, but I think that there was some some cool execution. Uh, I, I felt like we we didn't dwell on negative plays if they had a good play and. Again, we, we lined back up and, and tried to play again. I thought we were better on third down than today than we were yesterday, which, that, which is really um, encouraging. Would that unsportsmanlike penalty against them have taken away the touchdown? No, that uh, – the, uh, the, on the interception? Yeah, when he, yeah. Yeah, when he yeah. so that would be a dead ball foul, uh, no time left on the clock. Had there been time left on the clock, I guess that you could do something with it, but it was a dead ball foul. Uh, there was no time left on the clock. Yeah. Well, again, we're clocking the ball and we can't flinch, you know, so that's that's that goes down as a false starter. Uh, Ten second runoff. We were out of timeouts at that point in time. So, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a great learning experience. It's something that we've tried to continue to cover as we installed two minute and these things come up. Uh, how critical it is that that we're waiting there for the for the snap, uh, knowing that we're, they're going to move. They're going to try to. To, to, to move inside to try to force that to happen with a 10 second runoff. So again, that's what well coached teams try to do and we need to understand that that's going to happen. I know there are a couple of adjustments, but how do you feel your guys overall just handle, you know, being able to be out there, it's hot, you know, the battle sometimes. Yeah, it's not that hot, but I mean, it's, it's trying to be a professional. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's trying to be a professional. You know what I mean? It's trying to approach these games like practice or excuse me, try to approach these practices like games, obviously, um, where, where we want them to be as aggressive and, and as physical uh, and as violent within the rules as you can. And then you know, you got to line back up and play again. You can't taunt. You can't point at somebody. You can't stand over an opponent. Uh, you certainly can't throw a punch. Is it tough, though, to get a guy like maybe like Jefferson that plays with so much emotion and touching him? No. No. I'm, I've been in this league. i played this league. i played with a lot of... A lot of guys like that. I don't. I don't think it's tough. I think, think that that's part of the job, and um, it's not a free for all. You get a responsibility to the team, and I appreciate what Jeff does. I mean, I think he understands that. Again, you know, I'll make mistakes, but understanding that, you know, not throwing a punch. Yeah, I mean, I think that we did. I think we came out. We got good third down work. We got good red zone work. Good situational work. Um, Really like the pace in which they, they practice and they move. I thought it moved along. We got a lot of reps in there, so a uh, lot to teach from. Any update on, on trailing? Uh, no, I mean, I don't think it's um, going to be a long term thing. There's no structural damage, and, you know, anticipating him, you know, being back, you know, again, not putting a timeline on it, but I think that it was the best case scenario. You, you get really close with the player. I don't know if you got to speak to him for hours. Well, I think relieved. You know, I think when you, you know, again, have, have that type of thing and you feel something and you know, you're just, I, I think, relieved and, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll rehab him and, and I know he'll work hard to get back and when, when he's ready to come back out, he'll help us. Did he already head back to Tennessee? Uh, no, he's here with us. Jimmy, you got anything? I think I've got it. I think you got me early. Is that good? Uh, how did you no TikTok. No 
on TikTok today. No, all football. <laughs> Uh, so when you talk to guys like DeAndre about like wanting to celebrate more, is that like a personality thing? Like what what goes into a, an establishment like that? Trying to pull that out of him? Is that unique? No, no, no. I just said celebrating as a, as a team. I think you said something Monday, or like to him personally about like celebrate touchdowns, look happy or whatever. Is that like a unique trait of his, or is that something that you're trying to? Oh no, I don't. I don't think I. You know, I wouldn't read too much into that. I don't know if I. You know, I. It was. You know. Again, he's played in this league and he's been a successful player, but I also, you know, the, the whole emphasis was that, you know, we're going to embrace scoring touchdowns and, and celebrate as a team. And no, I mean, I, there was nothing. Has it looked like Will has gotten a lot of opportunity out here with like just kind of situations being that, that number three guy? How difficult is it to. Well, he got the same amount of reps as uh, Malik up until the, the two minute. Uh, I did two minute over here uh, yesterday. So why, when Malik was going, Will Will did that, and the, the plans were to uh, to have him go today. But um, you know they took him in, and we'll see where he's at for the game on Saturday. For Malik and Will, how much did this kind of accelerate things for them? Well, they, I thought they were better. I thought the ball came out uh, quicker today than it did yesterday with some of the looks. I know that they watched the tape, studied hard, and wanted to come back out here today. And you know that there's the second group and. and, and both of those, Malik and Will, had some third down conversions, and you know, thought, I thought they were better today than they were yesterday, and I thought both of them had, you know, fairly good days yesterday. Just to be clear, you said they took Will in. They they did, or he would have had the the same opportunity that that Malik had. Like, so that was the plan. Yeah, I mean, I think that the, yesterday, I think the. The one-on-ones, there were some some good balls, and there were some that got out, of, you know, got away from them, and you know, did, did some into the wind today on third down. Did some downwind, um, so we'll figure it out. Mike, in terms of calls when you get into a practice like this, what's what's the balancing act between something you think could work well against the Vikings? Why are you standing here? Get get in front of me, Gentry. I don't like. I don't know why you'd stand behind me. What in terms of calls, the balancing act between something that that you're going against versus something that you would want to work on yourself. Yeah, I think that there's some of that. I think we came back and, and tried to repeat some of the runs uh, that we didn't necessarily like how they looked yesterday. Um, you know, whether you get the same defense or not, I think that was some of it. And I think that there was some, you know, you go back and you try to third down, you try to scheme and say, hey, this is the looks that we're getting. You know, let's try to get it, you know, get something that we like against it. So there was a little bit of both. There was a little bit of, hey, just, just repeat some of the stuff that we didn't like yesterday, but also, you know, maybe try to see if we can't put something in that helps us convert. If Will isn't able to go Saturday, is Ryan maybe going to get some work, or will it be fully the whole way? Uh, we'll let you guys know on Saturday. Thanks. But no, nah, but no, nah, man. I th I, I'll go just to stop the run. We know team tr gonna try to run the ball on us. We pride on ourselves on run, uh, stopping the run, and um, you know, we'll in our offense, we pride on ourselves on running the ball. And uh, yesterday wasn't good enough. Um, you know, we had a good plays here and there, but today, that's how we supposed to stop the run. You the opportunity to measure yourself against a different offensive line than your own. How good was it feeling? I mean, it was good, man. I got some good work. Um, props to their guys, especially giving me different sets that I didn't haven't saw all camp. And um, I, I mean, that's that's what we needed. That's what I needed for sure. Instead of going against the same guys each and every day, um, I, um, Ingram he gave me good work this week, and you know, I appreciate it. Um, you know, we draw back and forth, but that's what the game about. But um, I enjoy these joint practices because, like I said, you get to see different sets, especially for offensive line or kind of what, where they at, um, especially on how they view you as a player. Is it power or something like that? And so that's when you you know you, and especially after the first day of practice, you could go in and okay, this is how you gonna set me. Now I come back today. Now now I know. All right, this is what I need to do to this um, particular offensive lineman. So you did a little bit of waving. What, what was that exchange there? Were you saying the wave on where? Yeah. I, I don't remember the context exactly, but you were waving, waving to somebody there, like. The I don't, game. I don't remember. I don't know exactly what what we we're talking about right now, but. But with that, there's a certain level of intensity that you play with. Man. How tough is it out there to, to balance that, right? You don't want to do dumb stuff. I mean, that's the that's the thing, you know. Um, Coach Rave do a hell of a job. You know, um, you know, you know, I'm a motion player, and I play with a lot of passion. You know, I don't see myself never changing. Um, the way I talk, the way I have fun with it. 
I, I would never change. Um, no matter if I'm, hopefully I can play long, longer than this right now. But you know, it's, a, it's always a balance. You got to know how to balance because one thing we talk about, you know, um, and we see it um, each and every day. You know, we had an incident today by guys throwing punch, and the first thing they do is get throw out a game or a situation like that. You know, I never want to put myself in a situation like that. You know, one of the things about it, you know, you can learn from your other guys or myself, or even when I had an incident in camp earlier. There's things I can learn off of, but one thing about it, you know, it's okay to be emotional, but um, not emotional, you know what I'm saying. So. Talk to I've been talking since literally. You can ask anybody that I grew up with. I, that's just how I play the game, man. I, I love to have fun with it. I enjoy the game of football. I play with a lot of passion, and you know, it's come out on the field. I mean, any opportunity is, you know, is a blessing. You know, I'm just, I'm here, just trying to take full advantage of the opportunity that's given to me, and you know, uh, go for it. You know, we got a game this uh, weekend. Just took and take advantage. How much you know about guys on this team, and maybe what the team's all about, and how do you think you fit that? Oh yeah, just learning, man. You know, I just got here, so uh, just learning the culture, learning how guys are, how they operate. You know, been in previous places. You know, not every place is different, so learning day by day, you know, just trying to get uh, adjusted to everything and, and make an impact. Uh, you spent much time around Derek before and a, you know, another big back kind of like yourself. What's it like being kind of his presence and how much can you learn from him? Oh, yeah. I'm, I mean, we're both from Florida, so I'm familiar with him. You know, uh, he, he's not too far from Orlando. He went, he went to school not too far from Orlando and obviously went to Alabama, so everyone knew him. But it's kind of cool, you know, uh, getting to be around, you know, a guy like that, you know, just has so much success in this league. You know, we're uh, similar in stature. I mean, it's the first time I've ever been around a back that's bigger than me. So uh, that's been kind of cool to see. But, you know, just learning from him, seeing how he operates in his day-to-day -day, uh, routine, you know, just trying to learn as much as possible from him. Hey, what's it like? I mean, you didn't, like, did any kind of acclimation process. You're signed, and then all of a sudden, okay, yeah. you're welcome to joint practice. What, yeah. What's that like? That's just that's the life of the NFL, man. You know, uh, I pray for opportunity, and uh, opportunities here. So, you know, I'm just trying to take full advantage of it, you know. Uh, no matter if it's joint practice, game, you know, it could have been anything, you know, I just had to be ready. you played a lot of football, you've been a lot of teams. Yeah. How, how, what makes you think maybe this spot is going to be a good one for you? Man, it's just, it's in God's hand, you know, at the end of the day, you know, uh, I just do my part, you know, I, I know I prepare it, you know, so all, all I can do is just uh, display my talent each and every day and um, go from there.